Hi, in this tutorial, we will going to learn how to use the result sets in uh, SIS. We have uh, three types of the result sets. We have a single row, uh, we have a full result sets and XML. Uh, where we can find the result sets, we can find it here in execute SQL. Um, here are the types of the result sets. Uh, I will start with a single row. The single row you can um, bind uh, a column in the return result to a variable, which means wherever the results that will be come here or return retrieved from here, it will be saved in a variable, and it's supposed to be uh, a single uh, record. So we will start here. Uh, we are dragging and drop the execute SQL. And here I will uh, create my connection manager. And I have, let me show you here. I have this uh, query that's retrieved for me, the server name. And I will uh, store or pass this uh, record into a variable and pull the the name from the variable and save it into this table called server name so let me copy uh, this script and paste it here now i need to create uh, a variable so i can store the record or the server name let me name it server name and string the value as you see here, it's empty, but once this uh, will run, uh, it will uh, full with the value that uh, has this uh, record uh, be pulled. Now let's go to the result sets here and add, and the result name will be zero. And this is the server name, this is the only variable that I have. So whatever the result will be here, it will be saved in this variable press OK and let's now go to data flow in data flow I will use the drive column to read the variable then load it to a destination but before that I need a, a source which is because uh, I cannot use the drive column without the source so in a source I will uh, create a simple query just to read the variable you know any query you can say select one as row number preview okay now uh, let's go to drive column and here where I will drag and drop my server name let me just see what the data type of the column here it's var 255 so let's go here in order to change the data type, the length is 255 and the code page is 1252. This is for, this is the default value of the var car. And let's name it here, server name. Click OK. And, and go to destination right here. In a destination, I will select my table, server table, and this is the column of my destination, and I will pull the data from my variable, okay? So whatever in the variable here, I will pull it and save it in my destination. So let's see if my results as it work. Okay, cool. Let me go here and see what I have. Okay, see guys, I have the name of the server. It's been saved on the server table. Now let's see how to deal with the other uh, other type, the full result sets. Let me delete this one. The full result sets, it's uh, used when the query returns multiple rows. So let me use this query now let go here and i have this query 
I have multiple uh, results, multiple uh, uh, records. It will be uh, pulled. So I will save it in a variables. Then I will save it in this. Uh, let me see, it's empty in this table, student tests. Okay, so copy my uh, script and come here and save it. Or like paste it here. And here I will have full result sets. Press OK. Then I need a variables here for each column. So I have a column for the name, for the ID, for the name, which is string. And here for the class name, string as well. But remember guys, we need to create a result set variable which is the data type it will be object this one because i'm going to use it in my execute sql so i have each column has own uh, variable so i will save all the records of each column it's on its own uh, variable let's go back here i have here the folders all sets and i have here my uh, query this is my connection manager in the result sets, I will going to result sets here. And the result sets, this is zero. If I have another result sets to be used, there is, it will be one, two, and so far. Press OK. Now I'm going to use for each loop container to go over each column or each variable in order to save it uh, into the, my destination. Go to the collection here. I am going to use the for each arrow uh, animator and here go to select a result sets my object source variable it will be result sets and a variable mapping here I'll go with uh, all the variables that I need to read first ID second name third class and press OK. So I will go over all these variables. And the same as I did with uh, with a uh, single row to load single value, I will going to do here the same with the multiple values, which is I need because if you let me see here, OK. If you click on the drive column here, it's asking you for the source. Let me go here, which is I'm going to write down a SQL command. Select one as row number. And go here to the right column. First, I have the first one is int. This is the ID. And I have a name, which is the data type it's invocar my destination invocar 255 255 and the class the same here 255 and let's name it here name class Press OK. Now I'll go to my destination. Here my destination is called student test. And the mapping is with the variables. The variable ID, the name, class. Now it's supposed to have uh, my uh, for each loop going over over single row one at a time all the way to all the 14 rows and load it to my destination let's see here first my result sets it will pass the result into a variables and from the variables into the destinations now let's complete let's come here 
and let's run this query again here we go let's order by id okay i believe now let me just make it like this so this is my um, result it works so in general the results it's it helped me to pass the uh, the result of my executed query into a variable and pull the data from the variable and uh, use it uh, whether if i want to load the data if i want to pass it to the uh, other uh, if I want to pass it in for each loop container. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video and see you for next videos. Thank you.